this is a video preparation for the box plots and histograms um, graphing on the TI-30 er, TI-83 plus um, calculator. We're, I know I have TI-84, but we're going to be using the 83. And so let's start with the box plot. So let's look at our data. And June collected the distances she drove each weekend for 30 weekends. The distances stored in the list weekend we are going to be using L1 on the TI-83 plus calculator are listed below. 31, 8, 93, 9, 6, 9. All right, so. So what we're going to do first is press second. Oh, wait, no, wait, no. Stat, sorry. Stat. Enter. So it's going to end up with this L1, L2. We're only going to be using L1. So 31 down, 8 down, 93 down, 69 down, 75, 2. That's the first row. All right, we got more. <laughs> Two, 8, 75, 198, 25, 32, 71, 9, and 98. That's a lot. <laughs> now we're going to press Second stat plot, it's right there. All right, so we see this. We're going to press enter because we want to go on to plot one, this one right here. Enter. Well, keep it on. And we are going to go to the box plot. Uh, the box plot, there are two. It is on. All right. Start. Yeah. So, um, actually, you're going to have to press right to get there. It's the fourth one. We're going to press enter. Um, zero down to X list. All right. So we're on X list. Um, so we're going to press second list. Enter. Okay. And we can press window now. And now we have to put in our data. And so let's look back at this page. We need to know our ranges. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Aguilia. Um Now, this, there are parts of this we don't need because it's not on the calculator we're actually using in class. So. Minimize this again, and let's go back to this. Um, so we can see that zero, zero. Uh, we have a really high data point, right? Yeah, we have a really high data point. Yep. 
divide those into one of the two, two variables. So really this one is zero to 50 is probably the What she said. All right. Well, I don't know if there's nothing in here. Well, it's probably one variable. Okay. If you could hear Mrs. Agulia, but basically what she said is we don't need any Y stuff because um, we're th there's only one variable. <coughs> and because we have a um, large a um, large uh, range, we, we're going to put a scale of 20 because that seems just about right. And um, so let's just look. So 0 to 20, 20, 0, 15, 1, 1. Hmm. That looks right. Hmm. All right. So now we're going to press. I'm just going to open this up because we're going to press graph. And there we go. There's our box plot. And what this is showing us is we have. I'm just going to use the marker. Can I use a marker? No, I can't. Can't use a marker. No. So this line. Right here, this is our median, and if we press trace, we can. Ooh, ooh. actually, yeah, we have our. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. We have our minimum x, our lower extreme. We had the first quarter thingy, quarter whatever, quartile. Uh, we have our median, which is 51, and we have our upper quartile, and we have our um, upper extreme. So um, I'm going to clear this because it's a lot. All right. All right. Now for the tricky part. We're going to plot the mean of the distances by entering the command shown at right. So we're going to press second, draw, or we can press that vertical. Now we're going to press second list and arrow to the math menu. Second list. Go down to mean because we're trying to find the mean going to press enter and crap. now we're going to press second list L1 and close the parentheses and press enter and now we have our mean which is still here but our mean so if we press trace we get our median see it says median here but that means that this must this line must be our mean all right, so now we're going to do part two, which is histograms. So we're going to create a histogram of the distances. So we're going to press second, stat plot, which is right there. And when we're going to press enter, we have to go to the first one and turn it off. So we're going to press enter, second, quit. Second, stat plot. So you can see this is now off. We're going to go to this one which is now going to be our histogram. Enter, and we're going to go to the histogram. We've got to turn it on first. Then we are going to go to the histogram, enter, and what we're going to do is arrow down to X. We already got that. So now we're list going to press one. graph. We got, we got list one, so graph. Here is our histogram of all the stuff. The data for doing driving your car. I'm just going to do this up. So trace, we can see the min this is from zero to twenty. Nine day nine weekends, if you remember from our data. Six, twenty to four, from twenty forty. From forty to sixty was nothing. Then we had five from sixty to eighty, five from eighty to a hundred, nothing from a hundred to one twenty, one from one twenty to one forty. One hundred, uh, no, nothing from one hundred forty to one sixty, and one hundred sixty to one eighty, and two for one eighty to two hundred, and two for two hundred to two eighty, or two twenty. Sorry. So now, um, what we're going to do is plot the mean and median of the distances. So let's do second. Quit. So what we need to do is we need to do second list. And we're going to go over to math. Median. Sorry. It's just, I'm just having to look back at this. Um, and we're going to press enter. 
second list L1, enter, close the parentheses, and here's our median, 51. But wait, there's no 51 on here. Look, the 40 to 60 is empty. Well, remember that um, the median is halfway between the, um, if it's an even number of data pieces, it's halfway between the um, the two closest to the middle. So um, let's just, I'm just going to go back to our data over here. Um, I think it was uh, 33 and something, 69, 60, something around there. And that gave us 51 um, for our median. So it is correct. I'm going to go back into this. Just a second. So now we're just going to do the same thing but finding the mean. So second list, math, mean, second list, L1, close the parentheses, enter, and we get 67 and 1.66666 around, which is the same as 6 and 1 sixth. So um, now we're going to compare the box plot and the histogram. This is the last, se last section. And all we're going to do is we're going to go back to second stat plot and we're going to press enter and turn this on and grab and we get this so now we have our box plot and our histogram and it kind of looks correct I mean like most of the stuff on the box plot is right here sorry about that drag screen it's just in the way but so we get this and um, so what we're going to do is um, do this in class. Um, you're going to um, do the questions. We have stuff like, um, so the questions are stuff like, we're the minimum, quarter one, medium, quarter three, maximum. We got, why is the first list, go show short. Um, we got histograms. That's it for today's video.